There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through, and that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight I'll find out if he can still bleed. This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real, at least for now. Here, the void is closest to the surface of reality, breaking through and spilling out all the fear and power the Abbey of the Everyman tries to hide. You have uncovered me more than most. What you do now will change the world. You again. You know I used to wonder if you'd speak to me. I almost wanted it. Every street kid, every desperate wretch pushed to the edge. They all wanted you to speak to them. Why didn't you? Why me, now? You know I'm here to end this. You and this disgusting cult. People have come to this place for centuries wanting many things. To elude death, to seek forbidden knowledge. They are never satisfied no matter how much they take. Not even the dead find peace here. You will find another relic of the cult's heart. A piece of whatever god came before my time. You will find the people who murdered me. When I knew them, they had names and ambitions. Now, they wander this place, their minds snared up with terrible secrets, keeping hidden the unspeakable ritual that made me what I am. Deep in the void, they put a knife to my throat and tore my name away. You have found the knife. Maybe you can find my name in the black viscera of this place. If you care to look. Why are you telling me this? What do you want? We both know how a mob can justify a murder to themselves. Who I was or what I wanted never mattered to the cultists here. I will not speak to you again. The next time we meet, you will be face to face with what was done to me all those years ago. Your mind echoes with everything that Dowd wants you to do. But I am here to say that you have a choice, Billy Lurk. everyone. I hate this place already.
Osiris in mundane things cast aside his touch. The little pets were distracting your gaze from the void. Where's the heart? I was just feeding the rats and talking to them, like the lonely rat boy from the stories. We're not in a story. The void needs you. I don't want to go to the void anymore. I've seen what happens. The stone grips more than your body. It takes over your mind and heart. This is our purpose, Antero. This is why we're here. Don't fight the influence of the endless and empty. I don't want to. I'm scared. I don't want to become like them. <clears throat> don't worry. You goes on here. gaze I sank beneath the surface of these waters. I walked the path of the envisioned and witnessed the churning of the void in them. What is that thing? Ah, it makes my eye burn. in my mind yes yes the dead see with such depth the eye of the dead god sees all our desires one day we too shall see the truth i know it
place. The void will not allow it. Some aren't ready to share their attachments. Oh. I remember one man, an aristocrat from Dunwall, was granted permission to join us here. Who brought his prize hound? As if you could keep it in the mine. As if we don't have enough vermin. What? Do it. We had him kill it. Drove a knife through its eye. Then we killed him. Why? Experience the passage of Envision twice in one day. I read that Envision can't communicate with us anymore. Can they see us? Or can they only see what's in the void? In Witness by Stone, Nozaku posits that Envision can see us, but choose not to speak. They have locked their matters to ponder when they walk the void. and linguistics. It's a pity, really. He was a true scholar. I wouldn't praise him too loudly. He violated the highest commandments of our society. He had to die. I don't dispute that. But his work... There are things that even those such as we were never meant to gaze upon. be worth looking into. Guardians of the Ritual Home. All of you have appointed yourselves to a better existence. Lifting <laughs> up from the muck and the dank warrens of the ignorant of society. You see the world for what it is, discontent with illusions. Only you see the truth. Let us remember why we are here. 
and the importance of our work. Thousands of years ago, we took a wretch from the streets beaten and discarded and blowing upon the embers we found there, we set alight the fires of divinity at the very heart of the world. We created the outsider himself, fellow seekers. A face instead of the endless dark. Black eyes rather than the empty. A voice speaking to select few, over which otherwise would be the howling of forever. Of nothing without end. And now he sleeps in the ritual hole, held in the crushing grip of the void itself, and he will sleep forever, fellow seekers, for that is our charge. For without the outsider, the void would hunger and royal, and the world itself would shudder.
shape things. We made this world <coughs> with the dragging of a knife blade. the ritual hold, meeting the outsider face to face, his black eyes. I've read varying sources which recount our forebearers walking with the outsider in dreams. One even vividly described him inviting her to suckle blood from the wound the envisioned inflicted upon him centuries ago. I wouldn't believe such accounts. They're based on poor scholarship, mystical ramblings at best. Set these wanderings aside. We know the nature of the outsider. There is only one. where he exists in the flesh, and it is forbidden to us. Still, it's tantalizing to think about. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. <laughs> since this all started. It's cold. Dead. But it still sees.
I can see everything. The void. Like looking under the waves and into the sea. mark of the outsider. This one was obsessed like all the rest. What did he find out? The topography of the void is dependent upon reality to supply the base material. The combination to his safe might have something to do with those strange symbols. Though I know the void sees into our hearts, my fellows call it the ritual hold. Some say it is a cradle, others say it too. The mark is the outsider's name, and this says only spirits in the void can read it. Truly, the ritual hope.
potentialities? Does the void remember? Oh, the gate to the ritual hold. They broken. You're asking the wrong question. I had a choice. I hear their fingernails inside the walls. The noise, the noise, I hear it. I will always hate you for what you did. <laughs> Soil underneath my fingernails. Take me back. <laughs> I want to go back. Here. What are you? Look at us. Trapped here. An eternity on a butcher's block. Waiting for the knife to fall. There's nothing left of me but this. Doubt. I'm here. Look at me. I know that name. I know you. And with blood. And masks and blades raised. Really lurk. I need to remember when you hated me. And now you followed me into the void itself. You brought the knife. I can't hurt him. There's nothing I can do. Only you can kill him. How long have I waited here? Too long, old man. There he is. The outsider. All this time, dreaming in the void. I wonder if he dreamed about this moment. Go finish it. End his miserable life. He almost looks like he's in pain. Is this really what you want? Is this really what he deserves? You know how this ends, Billy. I found another way. The Outsider lived and breathed once. He spent his days on the streets of some forgotten city. These cultists took everything away from him. Even his name. But I know what it is. His name is the Mark. Only the dead can read it. If we give that back to him, he'll be free. He'll live out the rest of his days as a man like any other. The Mark? No. You're here to kill him. You can't ask me to do this, Billy. Not after everyone he's hurt. Not after everything we've done. Why is he to blame for what we did? He gave us a way to fight back. He never lied to us about what we might become. You know what I became. We looked down on Dunwall as if we owned it. As if we could drown it in blood. Wow. He knew we'd turn into monsters like him. He always knew. And his belly. 
He can't do anything but harm. I saw the cult who hurt him. He died once at their hands. Look at him. This wasn't his choice. He never asked for this power. Let him end it. Put him out of his misery if you pity him. It's a better future than anything that might wait for him out there. But does he have to die? Years ago, I did something terrible to you. I didn't deserve to live. But you let me walk away. You gave me a chance. Let him live, Dowd. Let him have the life he lost. Like you did for me. When you left Dunwall, I hoped you could live a better life without me. That your future wouldn't be killing for coin until someone came to betray you. Forgiveness is a rare thing in this world, Billy. You're better than I was. you out of here. These eyes were closed for centuries, and I saw everything. Bound here, I walked through the minds of generations, and now you're free. take back what was done to you all those years ago. No more than I can take back what was done to me. But now you have a chance to be something new. To be something better. It must be strange knowing what you know. Seeing with old eyes all the secrets of the world. We've both seen the worst in people's hearts. But in the end, I gave Dowd peace. And maybe you can find some too. There's so much doubt but there are some things I know are true. The outsider is no more, and with that, the world will change in ways none of us can know. But the void is still there, echoing just beyond what you can see. And there's no one left to say who will and won't be touched by its magic.
In the month of darkness, seasons destroyed. A ritual killing bound his spirit to the void. Eyes drained of color, the beggar no more. To become what the believers waited for. They set him outside beyond the spheres. Quiet as the night, long like the years. He opened his eyes, as black as a dream. Trying to speak his only words, a scream. Release thy golden locks, Gloriana. Let the warm summer breeze hold sway. Lie with me in bright sun, silken tresses undone. Reap laurels of youth while ye may. The meadow grass bent low and sweet Beneath the marching soldiers' feet Bugles called in the glen strong and brave 
when he came back, she made no sound. But lies the night on broken ground, where oxrush blooms upon his grave.